So we have found more records while we're here at the Melrose Trading Post. And they look pretty interesting. Got some Steve Martin, some Night City, Grand Funk, Santana, Todd Ruggin. Got some Rod Stewart and various other stuff that look really cool. I'm gonna keep looking. I'm here at Target and I see that Target has a six cube organizer shelf. I'm starting to run out of space on my record shelf. So a trip to Target might be happening in the near future again. But as of right now, I don't quite need shelves yet, but in the near future I might. And these look pretty good. There's six cubes and four cubes. So if you happen to be at your local Target, you might want to check out these Threshold Cube Organizers because they look really nice. Hey guys, so I went to a bunch of different places today. I went to the Melrose Trading Post. I went to Goodwill. Did not find anything. However, someone left behind a ripped copy of Innocent Man by Billy Joel. Why would you do a thing like that? Why would you do that to Billy Joel? He does not deserve to be ripped to shreds. Not at all. And then I went to Amoeba Records. And then I went to Target. Because Target has exclusive versions of albums. On CD format and records as well. And I had to go and look at the stuff that they had. And I found a CD that I've been looking for for the longest of time. I finally found it and I'm really over the moon about that. So now we're going to get into the haul. First we have John Lennon and the Plastic Ono Band. This was recommended by my boyfriend's cousin that I should go and get this for my collection. I didn't have any John Lennon within my collection, so this is my very first John Lennon record and certainly not going to be my last John Lennon record. Next, we have two King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard records. That's right. I am trying to complete my King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard collection. I have about four or five records that I need to add within my collection and then my collection is complete. So the first one I have to show you is King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard with Eyes Like the Sky. And the really cool thing about this particular record is it is written and narrated by Broderick Smith who is the father of Kenny Ambrose. Smith right here who's in the band that is really super cool and can we take about roughly five seconds to appreciate this beautiful artwork here in the back look at these fonts they are really super cool now I got to show you the record itself because the record itself is this really super cool orange color look at that that is a pumpkin color for sure. And next we have King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard with Ottomans. And here's the back of it. And you think this record is done with, but bam, they give us a gatefold. Look at that gatefold. Really super cool. And the record is this gorgeous purple color. Look at how gorgeous that is. Wow, that's super pretty. I love that color. And then I got also two Creedence Clearwater Revival albums because you know how much I love CCR. The first one we got is Creedence Clearwater Revival. Finally, I got 
a copy to replace my dad's copy that does not have the record in it. I'm really super happy to finally find this and a used copy because I did not want to get a reissue. So that's really super cool. And next, we've got Creedence Clearwater Revival with Willie and the Poor Boys. Really happy to have this as well. I think Walmart has a variation of this album with a white vinyl. I'm not quite sure, but I think they do. And last but not least, I finally found it and I am so happy. This is the Monkey's Christmas Party. Guys, I've been checking my local Target for months to try to find this album because it's got two extra tracks. Richie Chewy, Richie Richie, I can't even say the name of it, but if you've seen the Monkees TV show, they sing that song. And Christmas is my time of the year. Just really super stoked. And let's open it. Because I'm curious to see what the CD looks like itself. Please bear with me. This is like an unboxing video. We're going to open this. There we go. I feel like a kid at a candy store. Wow. Look at that. That is super cool. And then I'm going to show you the CD sleeve. We got the lyrics. Really super happy with this. Because I've been looking for months and months for the Target edition. Just so I could have the two extra tracks. And I finally found it today. And this one is definitely going to be spun on Christmas. For sure. Now... One more thing I want to show you that is not really music related, but it's really thoughtful of my boyfriend to think of me when he found this really cool trippy bandana with the smiley faces. Look at that. That is super trippy. And you know I love collecting tie-dye stuff. So I'm really happy to have that. And that's definitely going to go on my wall. So that is all of the things I found. So consider this an end of the year haul. A Christmas haul. A treat yourself haul. Whatever kind of haul you want to consider it. Consider it that. And also. Here's something else I need to mention. Don't put apple cider vinegar on your face. You will get a bit of a slight irritation on your face. And your face will turn a bit red like my face has. So that is just a little bit of a cautionary tale for all of you guys out there. And lastly, Amoeba gave me a music calendar for 2019. And guess what? We've got coupons. What? We've got coupons. So I am definitely going to be using these coupons. Because I need to come back and get the new MGMT record for my collection. For sure. Peace, love, and grooviness, guys. Have yourself a wonderful week. Love you all. Bye, guys.